A very good evening to you. Welcome to the Thursday edition of Sports Tonight. I'm Yemi Adebayo. As we do on the show, we'd like to take you on a trip across the money spinning world of sports. And uh, a lot of exciting things happening uh, at this very moment. We will do our best to take you through uh, all of them. We will, on Thursday, as you know, we will travel to Washington. Our man, Sonny Young of the uh, VOA, will be standing by. And of course, we will be talking to Ross about some of the issues um, coming from his side, the, the NBA playoffs. We'll be talking about that on the show tonight. And of course, his side now, Conor McGregor, uh, will take on Floyd Mayweather. So he will be filling us in on all of that as we go on on the show. We have a special guest in the house, someone you love to meet, someone you love uh, to hear him share his experience. And, um, I don't let the cat out of the bag just yet, but we just know that we have a special guest and he will uh, be here to talk about his experience in a special uh, kind uh, of football, talking about beach soccer. So we'll be doing that for you uh, on the show. We will also come home and look at uh, what is happening on the domestic scene. Emeka Dena will uh, join us uh, later on on the show and we will uh, you know, take that trip together uh, across the money spinning world of sport all right let's just uh, give you this uh, piece of news heartwarming news good one for nigerian uh, bad meeting let's uh, quickly tell you just in case you missed it uh, that um, justice dalami senchi has been elected the new president of the badminton confederation of africa uh, that's a very good one we are spreading uh, our tentacle uh, just essentially displaced incumbent president that's larry keys of south africa uh, by 63 votes to 32 uh, the election was held uh, in gold coast australia it will now lead the continental body uh, for the next four years he is the outgoing president of the badminton uh, federation of nigeria all right, good one there for, for Nigeria. Uh, hopefully all of these things will add up and it will rub off uh, on the game here in Nigeria. All right, let's talk about it. The countdown continues uh, on the show. Uh, we'll be filling you in with everything that you need to know. Yesterday we told you that it's international now. So when you call the name, uh, just say Channels International uh, Kids Scope. Uh, the, the scope uh, is bigger now and we're happy uh, to let you know that that's the way it is. Uh, of course, uh, let's also let you know that um, the representative uh, from the states, we're getting them one by one. And today, it is Oshun State. And um, the school that will be representing Oshun State uh, in that one is uh, Islamic Government Primary School. Uh, they won uh, the state finals and courtesy of that victory, they will represent their state uh, in that one and of course uh, they know how it is in Lagos they are ready they are optimistic uh, some of the pupils already talking about going all the way to win uh, the tournament so let's allow you enjoy these highlights uh, listen to officials of the school and we'll come back for more on sports tonight Last time we came to Lagos, one of the members of the team was chose to play in the national team. And we are all happy. Our governor was even happy to, to, to hear that. We are coming to Lagos and we are lifting that cup this time around by God's grace. We thank Channel for catching them young. One of the management of Subeb said, if so many TV stations are doing this, we have the best national team in the world. I'm very happy. That um, Islamic Mudayaka government school, the name of our school. 
that uh, we are qualifying to go to Lagos to go and play channels national kids cup. God will help us to come to bring that cup to Osho State because of our performance. That I have the confidence that we are going to collect the cup.